Milwaukee PBS. Our story is you. Bead art is one of the world's oldest art forms. Using skills handed down through generations and working in their own unique style directly from the soul, the Ubekli women of South Africa have given it a more contemporary feeling. The exhibit is currently on display at the Payne Arts Center and Gardens in Oshkosh. It features the work of five African women when I first saw the exhibit, I was amazed. I was awed at the incredible, meticulous skill that the women artists have who have created these. When you, when you look at them, you might be blown away first by how they shimmer from afar, but then as you get closer, you see each individual beadwork and you'll just be amazed at the incredible talent and the time that it takes to create such a masterpiece. So the women artists behind Upukle beadwork are women who live and work together in rural KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. They live in a former sugar plantation and um, the exhibition actually was born out of their need to create a means of income. So they live and work together, they create the beadwork, and they create these beautiful works of art. The Ubekli women were established in 1999 by Ntokofi Ntobela and Bev Gibson. Changing economic realities changed South African society. Men had to leave their rural homesteads for up to nine months of the year to make money in the mines or cane fields. That caused the breakdown of traditional family life and values. And Tombefi began to teach the women how to create bead art they could sell, giving them a source of income and a route to financial independence. Due to the slow, meticulous process of creating the art, the act of beating itself became a form of therapy, a way of bonding, and a way of sharing feelings and memories. This is a centerpiece of the exhibit, the African Crucifixion. Roughly 24 feet by 15 feet, seven artists spent almost a year creating the seven panels for a cathedral in South Africa. Since 2006, the Ubekli community has lost five artists to HIV AIDS and other illnesses, almost half of its membership. Much of the artwork serves as a memorial to them. These are stories of hope. Um, the, the artworks themselves are depicting loss. They're, they're ways of grieving for these women. So one thing that I think is really powerful that people can take away from the exhibition is hearing those remarkable stories of the women, learning the behind the scenes stories of the artworks, and then that, that powerful recognition that you can, you can do something with a challenge. You might come on a hard time, but you can make beauty out of darkness. Milwaukee PBS, our story is you.